now i know say plenty of people don't watch that trailer go watch they see the movie itself but time for us to talk to a person where he be saying that he actually now one of the instrumentalists to make sure say this movie come into reality sometimes we always get the actress or the actor but now let's talk to someone behind the scene we get the award-winning director and producer in that person where don't actually involve himself on different kind of movies like a mother's love enemy within even 30 days in atlanta um a trip to jamaica and name it a lot of them join me welcome kevin wako into the house good to have you thank you thank welcome you to the show kevin. thank you Hmm. Now, looking at this movie, Mona, we don't see and say, of course, they're mixed of indigenous actors mm -hmm. and foreign actors as well. What did bring about um, that synergy? Um, we, we try, you know, to bridge gap between Nollywood and Hollywood actors, you know. Um, we won't tell our story, actually, the way we, they will take accept them as well. So, and one of the strategies we will come, talk and I go feel work for us now, when we bring our, the best from our end and the best from that side, you know, just join them together. So that way we will feel reach a broader audience and at the same time tell our story the way we will feel tell them, you know. Mm. Now, you that person will be saying you don't know, produce movies for a very long time, they direct different kinds of movies. Thank you. Tell us um, some of the, first of all, how you take go into this field and then how the field be. Tell us the challenges where you do actually face as a movie producer and director. Uh, the challenge, challenge is plenty, Sha, but, mm. uh, you know, uh, first of all, I go, I study for photo project management, which I do, so come off for school. But while I did school, I mean, they do acting then, you know, with St. Toby, with Kerry and Obi. Um, I did do Nollywood acting then, so later, but I've always desired to, you know, uh, uh, be a filmmaker, mm -hmm. which I want to do. So I, I can't begin to do comedy, you know, comedy show, buff, buff. That was really? what they were calling me then, the hair yeah. I uh, did a lot of, you know, events for... Even inside most Futu? Corporate, yeah, in Futu and outside Futu. Even corporate companies, Guinness, extra small, different things where, you know, different companies where I work for here, I host events for them. So later I can't come out, you know, go uh, travel, go US. So um, I went to New York Film Academy where mm -hmm. I did... Uh, I had my master's in filmmaking. Wow. So I had to study uh, filmmaking for uh, two years. And then um, also did... Uh, another uh, course on uh, scripting and all that. So basically, um, <laughs> after that, it was kind of rough, you know, trying to fund the movie, trying to finance a movie and all that stuff. So challenge is day, but I now worked on my first one, which is uh, Enemy Within. <laughs> then after that, Mother's Love. So Mother's Love uh, got the award with Mabela International Festival in Spain. So that was when I, I knew that, okay, hey, this is it. Let me just, you know, focus on, on this. And right from, I've always wanted to kind of have this bridge, mm. you know, between uh, Nollywood and Hollywood. Hollywood it's yeah. like a stra strategic move in terms of marketing as well, because that one too, like you talk, it will reach a wider audience. audience yeah. Now, like, talking about the cast, how you they take manage um, the cast crew members? Because we know say sometimes uh, some things might be unpredictable. Yeah. Some people feel they horrible, <laughs> horrible in terms of when it comes to outside work, attitude, the way they relate, they might sound pompous or want to bring people down. Yeah. But on screen, they have the va va voom if you make that movie blow. How yeah. do they take manage those kind of people, cast it, and crew? It, it tough, it tough, but uh, it tough. But uh, they say when the road gets rough, the tough gets That's going, right. you know. So um, most of the time, I they shut down. I they shut down on side talks for set. I they shut down because if you, the person where they want to, they listen to everything where they go around, you know, and you are directing, you know, go feed the creative. Mm -hmm. So I shut down on things, and that is why you probably have you, uh, like a first AD or, you know, somebody who could be listening to some of those things. So I try to pay attention to the, the need of the actor as it relates to the character. I focus, that's the word, you know, that I'm, I'm trying to pick now, focus. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I did try focus on within bring us come that place, you know, and uh, when I start seeing attitude and things, you know, starts going wrong, which makes you a good producer is managing crisis. Mm -hmm. You know, even as a project manager, 
you know, one of the things you crisis is management. crisis management, you understand? So crisis, the day sets. So it's the ability to manage those crises, you understand, and focus. Then from your things where you learn there, you go, no, so okay, or next time, yeah, I go work with this person, or I go recommend this person to somebody, or I, you know, to my friend, or I go work with this person again next time. So now, nah, so you be. Now let's talk about this movie where we just watched and watched the trailer now, Muna. I, my question will come in three different folds. Now, number one, what inspired the name of the movie? Because sometimes um, we they wonder, waiting the director or a producer, they actually see before they give um, a movie a particular name. Number two, what inspired the story itself? And number three, Waiting actually motivates you to involve the likes of Adeso or Itomi Ewewelitin inside this movie. Okay, uh, first of all, Muna, Muna Chimso, you know, that's oh, the full name, yeah, okay. Muna, Muna Chimso. So I just took the name Muna, you know, uh, as short. Um, um, are they trying to build brand? Uh, I'm, I'm, working, I'm working with God, okay. you know. So are they try build the brand around that name, Muna? You know, just like you have uh, the Tomb Raider, you know, and some of them will say, hey, like you have Nikita, like you have, you know, okay. uh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but I did try to build the brand Mona because uh, I still get plans for um, uh, different, different uh, versions of the Mona, Mona character. So I have like Mona 2 coming out, Mona 3. You know, oh, different okay. different missions. So you want a, you want a name, a particular name. Yes, for yes, okay. exactly. So so the brand is already something we are building. You know, because uh, right now as I'm speaking, we're already working towards the Mona too. You know, we're already wow. you know working towards it. So um, I, I did try to build that brand, and one of the things that inspired it is. Um, um, First of all, looking at what is happening in our society today, how some of our ladies, our women are being, um, it's very hard to see most of the ladies playing lead role. Usually what they play is supporting role, if you check it. Mm -hmm. It's very, very, just supporting. It's hard to see them play lead. Mm -hmm. And for lead in action too, is something I, I hardly see with our Nollywood, you know, stuff. As a lead, I'm not saying support, you no, know. I, I get yeah. you, because we see Hollywood you, changing you, you understand, that exactly. So, so that's one of the things I also wanted to do. And another thing, again, is this news about human trafficking, the way it's going, the, the rate and all that. So I said, OK, I'm, I'm trying to tow the line of uh, Mission Impossible, just like you have Mission Impossible. But now I, I'm having this Muna, but it's now a female lead that, you know, will be going on all those assignments, trying to rescue victims of uh, human uh, trafficking, you know, from different countries. And I, I plan to take the movie to shoot in different countries too, not just only Nigeria, you know, different African countries where this human trafficking thing is rampant, you know, yes. and all that. So, so why are they so are? Because we get a lot of um, actresses in Nigeria. Why are they so are? Uh, okay, so uh, it was uh, three, three years ago, actually. Okay. Uh, when I was doing the casting on that one, and I, I talked about a lot of names, though. I talked about Jenna, I talked about, you know, Call different me names. Me Jenna. Jenna, <laughs> I talked about different names, you know. Yes. So, um, I'm basically, my, my, my wife told me, say, hey, look at this lady here, at this one. And, uh, you know, I, I looked and she had just all I needed in terms of uh, physique, mm. you know, and all that. And I said, okay. And she also have like the energy to carry the, you know, character yeah. and all that. So I see her, I see, okay, hey, Angelina Jolie, you know, something like that. So, but, uh, you know, um, so basically that's, that's what, you know, that's what happened. And she, she came in and she, and she did. She did. Yeah. Yeah. She From did. the preview, Mr. The Don't she Live did. Long, actually, <laughs> to watch her. So tell us where we fit actually watch this movie. When is it coming out? Is it out already? Where can we get it to watch? Oh, yes. Uh, Mona is going to be in cinemas December 6th. Ah, okay. In, in all the theaters in Nigeria. You know, Beautiful. And Ghana, Liberia. And, and I also know that we're working with uh, Wazobia TV and some other... Uh, Wazobia TV and Cool, cool TV. Cool or, or, cool, yeah. yeah, we're working with them too to get into some of other African countries, mm -hmm. you know, theatrical too. So, so but for now, the ones we don't get, to, we don't get opportunity to watch them now. Now, for uh, any cinema in Nigeria, Ghana, Liberia, then WeTV, Gunakari, and go other places with the one.
So how do you plan to promote this movie? How do you take plan to promote Am Abroad? Um, currently, we have, we're going to have a premiere, a premiere in Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. That's number one. And because we're going to have a premiere in Atlanta, Georgia, with uh, the mayor of Atlanta, you know, mm -hmm. attending and some other press people there too in, mm -hmm. in US. And uh, we're going to have a tour, theatrical tour in US. Okay. So we, we have like theatrical screenings in okay. AMC cinemas in US. I like that. So December 6th, Ninja people make on our inside side cinema because <laughs> Muna, the movie go actually did. They go and watch Nigerians in action. Yes, you they look for action, power. Abby. You want to make Ninja, they do kick you, push you, push you, push you. Push you. <laughs> <laughs> then you must watch this movie. Thank you, Thank so, you so much, much. Kevin Wanko. Um, Award winning director and producer. Uh, <laughs> well done, great. I'm humbled. <laughs> awesome. right. To enjoy more of this, our Ogunke videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.